Hi, it's Jin Yang, and today we're gonna work on homework problem number four. Okay, let's just read the problem first. A chef makes fresh pasta daily for his restaurant. The recipe for his pasta is listed below. Okay, just the pasta, which looks delicious. And for the ingredients, okay, three eggs beaten, one teaspoon of salt, two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of water, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Okay, so let's solve the problem number two. What is the ratio of tablespoons of water to number of eggs? So this is the tablespoon of water, two, and this is three eggs beaten. You might think that they're Mm, they can't be compared because one is a tablespoon and one is beaten eggs, but it's said to compare. So yeah, we're gonna compare. And um, yeah, let's re read the question. What is the ratio of tablespoons of water to number of eggs? So okay, um, two tablespoons of water. Yeah. So this thing is like that you know and then there's three eggs so what is the tablespoon of water to number of eggs so number of eggs is three and then tablespoons of water is two tablespoons right so you can put it as two to three or you can write it as this or you can write it as yeah whatever way there is but yeah this is the main thing Okay, so let's go on to the third problem. Okay, so is this the part-to-part -part ratio, part-to-part, -part, which is a ratio that compares a part to a part, yeah, and then, or a um, part-to-whole ratio. So it's not a part-to-whole ratio, but part-to-whole ratio, like um, you're comparing part to and whole, for example, if I have... Um, I don't know, two black socks and two white socks. It would be like two to four, not two to two, which is comparing the socks. But yeah. So, and then we need to find that out, and then we need to give evidence. So, um, okay, so then to get this problem, first we can draw a table. Yeah, which has three columns because we're doing the total two. And so this is total. This is water, oh, oops, and then this is x. Okay, so it was 2, 3, and 5. But guess what? We weren't comparing that stuff. We weren't like 2 to 5. It was like, it was like, it was not like 2 to 5 and then 3 to 5 again, but it was like 2 to 3. See, remember, you can go back with watches, or like it'll be two to three. So this is a part. This is a part. So what would be comparing this and this be? A part of our ratio, yay! So yeah, now we know that two to three, which is water, eggs, it's a part of our ratio. But what would be an example of a part of whole ratio? It would be either if you're comparing water to total, it would be 2 to 5. And then if you're comparing x to total, oh my god. And then it will be 3 to 5. Yay. But however, however, the important thing is that this, what we're looking for, is a part to part ratio. Okay, I really hope you understood this problem, and thanks for watching!